Now all of a sudden gets another year under his belt, gets some confidence, goes out, and he's already been a winner. Bubba Wallace, top three in 10, 15, and 20 lap averages. He's fastest overall. He's showing me something in this practice session. This has always been a good track for him. You said, you know, that his truck win came here. It really is a good track. And, and I think, again, we're talking about satellite teams. It's a Toyota. We know that there's a connection there of some sort um, with his boss and Denny Hamlin and JGR. And I feel like him and his teammate Kurt Busch are both fast. A slow start for the Toyotas, but when you look at the guys that drive for them, Kurt Busch a couple of wins here, Denny Hamlin five, Truex three of the last five, Kyle Busch no stranger to success here. So it stands to reason Bubba leans on his teammates a little bit. And, and based on the numbers, maybe they'll be leaning on him because some of these guys not putting up the lap times of the overall speed in this session I thought they might be. One thing, there's always, you know, you can count on when you come to Martinsville is how close these times are. Yeah, Bobby Wallace is the heat at a 20.03. And then listen to this, second through fourth, there's an 05 with a five, an 05 with a five, and an 05 with an eight. And then fifth is an 08. That's the top five all in a flat. Extremely tight lap times. And later on when we do qualifying, you'll, you'll take the top five from this group and they'll move on to the second round and run for the pole. And, and you talk about the separation right now in the top five. Qualifying will be really fun coming up later on on FS1. And, and the next item on the to-do list is just about get ready for qualifying because we're inside of a minute to go for all these guys in Group A practice. Well, Christopher Bell right there. He's the he's one of those 05s of the five. He likes his race car. Doesn't surprise me, was fast last weekend. We knew these Gibbs cars, if they had to show up and they didn't prove to us they could get the job done on these short tracks, which has been their bread and butter, they were in trouble. They answered that call with a win last weekend and showing up with speed again this weekend. Look at the flames coming out of both sides of that car. That is so cool. And it's gonna be even better under, under the light. The light.